Seven years. I've been trapped on this mountain for seven years. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Mischief Makers. I almost said Fallout New Vegas. That is another beast for another time. Last time, we started our trek up Mount Snow, grabbing a couple of the gold gems along the way, however, missing just as many. Today, we are going to hopefully finish off Mount Snow, find our prof, beat, beat the winter games to rescue our prof, and then hopefully, I don't know, go on our next adventure together, and hopefully not have him get kidnapped again. We all know that's never gonna happen. So, let's go. It's time to go into a snowstorm, because that seems smart. Mm, not really much of a snowstorm, more of a, a light drizzle. I do like the music, though. Um, alright. Oh, you know what? Whoa! Maria, I didn't know you could catch much air with a trike. Park this right here. Get it out, out of the way. We got ourselves a, a Mr. Hop. Let's get him home nice and safe. Oh, wait, before we do that, I see, I see that spike. Must know where it leads. Okay, we need to take some pretty high hops for him. Ah, there's our gold gem. I love it that they give it right off the bat. It saves you time having to hunt through the entire level to try and find it. Need to line ourselves up a little bit better. Ow. Bonk your head on the platform, Maria. What the hell? What kind of cybot are you supposed to be if you can let a little platform get the best of you? No! No! Little buddy! No! I didn't realize those guys could actually get killed. Oh, crap. I guess we're going to be coming back here again. Maybe not. Hmm. Something seems amiss. But at least we get another chance of going for the gold gem. Bad timing. Come on. Come on. You can make it, buddy. Come on. Let's go. You can do this. You got this. Never stop believing. Ah. Bouncing on this guy is not the easiest thing in the world. Well, bouncing on him is easy, but just timing your jumps. It's kind of like using the boot in Mario... No! Not again, little buddy! You, it's like using the boot in Mario, where it's just like, you need to time your jumps almost precisely. I'm not really a big fan of spring mechanics in games. Also, if he just so much as brushes against the side of the spike, it kills him. And bounce. Ah! I need to get I need to get the max momentum of the bounce, but also the max length so we can, you know, chain them together so we can get up to the gold gem. Let's try this again. Alright. Alright, here should be good. Bounce! Bounce! Got it! Thank you, buddy. That only took me like what? Four D tries. You know what? While he goes home, I'm going to just ride my tricycle into here, park it in the garage, and we'll take him home. There we go. There you go. Home with your family. Nice and safe. Alright, so we got ourselves a clam pot. There's nothing else from there. Clam ball number two drops us a couple of bombs. All right, we combine the bombs into some big super bomb. Nope. Red gems. You got a couple of blue gems. And what do you have? A couple of green. Oops, a couple of blue. Still not enough for anything. What were they requiring of this, besides the... 
Well, okay, there it goes. I wonder what they're requiring of us with all those gems then, because, you know, we don't need to get the... Yeah, the gold gem, because we already got it. I guess maybe it's just here for purposes. Or, oh, there they are. Same, but different. Don't worry, guys. We'll get you home nice and safe and sound. Come on, everyone into the clam pot. I don't even know what the, these guys are even doing. They're like having a conga line up the hill and then just running all the way back down. If we shake the, all these guys together, we would make one big super clancer. Nope. Nope, nothing from these guys. There's more that we need to do. Alright, bro. We can at least get the green gem. We'll save it before we have to jump through the port gate. Ah. Get one home. Come on. Everyone out. Taxi ride is over. No! You fools! What are you doing? Bit of a back step when Maria tries to grab anything from here. Alright, got everyone home safe and sound. Let's take the warp gate out of here. That wasn't really so much of a maze, more of just a series of increasing challenges. And even then, they weren't even that challenging. Oh man, already? But the, the level's not even over yet. Alright, let's go kick Lunar's ass. Wow, the snow is wonderful. I've never seen such beautiful snow. The I, I I'm getting sleepy. Stay awake, Marina. Don't go to sleep. That's called hypothermia. Might want to go warm up or something. <laughs> I've been expecting you. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Well, wrong. It's boss time. Yeah, it's boss time. <laughs> I'm the strongest guy in the universe, the Great Lunar. <laughs> Gee, it's getting cold out here, but that's okay. This, because this will be a quick fight. Yep, I totally agree. <laughs> Uh, you two maybe want to go, you know, warm up a little bit before this fight? Just saying. I, I missed up the timing on his shot right there. Alright, so Lunar is kind of a tricky boss fight. He'll leave it behind a grenade when he does his ability. You want to use that to do some damage to him. When he pulls out his rifle to shoot, uh, sometimes it's a rapid fire function, sometimes it's a a uh, big, just like energy shot. You kind of want to grab that. I think if we grab his energy shot, that gives us the gold gem for the fight. Thankfully, we don't have to beat this without taking any damage to get his gold gem. It's just really hard to kind of get the timing on his energy shot right there to grab it for, for his gem. It's also kind of hard to... There it is. Got it. Come on. Throw him into his explosions as he does his little dive attack. Ooh. Hmm. I guess he was just firing blanks. Right. 
You can also grab his energy shot and throw it right back at him. However, it dissipates really... F oh, my God. It dissipates really fast, so... You kind of want to do it a little close to him. That's a pretty nice combo you got there, Lunar. All right, come on. Ah, I messed up the timing on that one again. Got him. There we go. Got him again. One more should do it. I want to try and... Oh, nope, we got him. Well, it's confession time. Now, tell me where you took the prof. Uh, 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 the old man is no longer here. Some other glancers took him. They had special orders. By the way, you didn't win. I lost due to the snow. Yeah, yeah. By the way, don't sleep there. You'll catch cold. Choo! See, even against her enemies, she's still considerate. Maria truly is the best character. Lunar's also pretty good. I like his energy and his enthusiasm for things. Alright, it's time. The day before the big show. And by big show, I mean the Olympics. Because that's literally what it is. Oh, welcome! The Athletic Festival will start soon. This is a super rich hotel for folks from faraway places. They spend tons of money. Ha ha ha. Is that price gouging I hear? Ooh, don't mind if I do. That would be paying for my fees. So yeah, this is kind of a little bit of a calm before the storm kind of level because of the mess that is going to be the winter games. Later in the stage, Lunar will appear as Cerberus A Alpha. He's strong, so here's a tip. Listen closely, I have two tips. One, you can grab both the missiles and laser and throw them back. Two, you can shake the items you grab, especially the missile. Don't be afraid to try it. Bit of a spoiler, Miss Hint. Don't you know spoilers are not that good? Why would you spoil the game for the people? Yeah. It's freezing here. And I'm not rich either. I can't sleep in the snow. I'm... I'll get the owner. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, th this is kind of like a calm before the storm level where the big uh, Winter Games is kind of going to take up a majority of this video. And I like it. it it's kind of like those uh, uh, Olympic cities that are always built during the times of the games and how the conditions for them most of the time are not that good. I think it's a bit of a commentary on it, to be honest. It's freezing. Have I been tricked? But I paid a lot of money. I better check it out. Aw, oh, poor guys. Don't cry, kids. There's no bathroom or drawers. It's horrible. I want a refund. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Do they actually go back and start yelling at the guy? I don't even know what these are supposed to be. Are they supposed to be like waiting chairs or something? No. Nope. I think maybe once we get all the people to complain towards him, maybe that gives us the gold gem for the level. I want to believe so. Maybe the ghoul gem has something else. I think there's like a bunch of clancers that train for are training for the games themselves. And you get it from them. This weather is torture. I'm always doomed to suffer. I'll make the owner suffer. Just going back to check. Get more of this awesome music. I'm gonna go give him a piece of my mind, too. Shake, shake. I'm gonna have more of his money. Got anything? Shake, nope. Shake. Got anything? Nope. Shake, shake. Oh, wow, he has more money on him. More money! Shake, shake. That's what you get. It's what you deserve. You go look at these crying children, and you feel sorry about them. Look at the mess. Look at their tears. Look at the suffering you have given them. Yeah. And the suffering I also gave them. Sorry, kids. The guy on top is training for the 100-meter dash. Want to race him? Okay, you were on the lower lane. I'll stay, say when to start. Till I say go, stay in the red pole. 
Ready? Set. Go. Ah, not fast enough. I think maybe we need to beat him in the, his race to get the gold gem. I'm going to tell you right now. The dashing for this is absolutely atrocious. It It's not that good. It's very strenuous. Beach up. Nope, we only got a red gem from that. The Clancers are practicing skipping rope. They didn't know that there was no skipping rope event this year. I want to practice too. Come on, guys. Together. Come on, haven't you played Mario Party before? I was a whiz at that skip rope mini game. There we go. There's our gold gem. I guess it makes sense. The only event that doesn't take place in the Winter Games is the event that gives you your gold gem. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world's greatest athletic festival of the year. I'm Tack Clancer, the host of this year's fest. Thank you, thank you. All right, everyone's split into two teams, yes? Yep, the red and white teams. The team with the highest score wins, of course, and we have a lovely prize, Professor Theo. He has many uses, punching bag, doorstep, paperweight, answering machine, etc., etc. What? What's going on here? I don't think anyone will be happy with this prize. Hey, what have we here? It's me, the hospital dur. Don't you remember me? Oh, I have some sad news. Do you remember Geold from Neptune? Well, he passed away a few days ago. Yeah, it's sad. Say, are you going to the fest? If so, why don't you join us? White team is weak this year. We could use your help. Let's see. Okay, here's the deal. If white team wins, I want the prize. You want that? I don't think anyone wanted him. Fine, if we win, he's yours. Huh? I thought you guys wanted a prize for the fest. Nah, nobody wants a prize. We like the fest, but there are weird folks who like prizes. Oh, Theo, you're great! Yeah, I think maybe we should, you know, win the festival to keep him away from that creeper over there. I'm not saying it because he just has the face of a creeper from Minecraft. Heyo! Alright, here it is. The day of the festival. So, this level plays a little bit different. We got a bunch of these events, and basically we have to win a majority of them. We've got the 100 meter dash, the 200 meter dash, the 400 meter dash, uh, high jump, or I think, it was, no, I think it was long jump. Ball, which I believe was to throw a ball, oh, forget, I think it was we need to grab certain colored balls from a clam pot that shoots them out. Hurdle, kind of self-explanatory, it's just hurdles, and math fun, which is the most amazing of all the winter sports, basic math. We just need to win a majority of them. We don't need to win all of them. However, we need to beat the 100 meter dash in under, I believe, 45 seconds to get the gold gem for this area. It's not easy. It's very strenuous, and I wouldn't put it past me to t if it took me a couple dozen tries to get this. But, might as well rip that band-aid off while we're here. Yeah. Not that one. Yeah. So that Clancer's rulebook, 100 meter dash. Rule 1, everyone must start at the same time, and the first to the goal lane wins. Rule 2, wait for the word go and start, no flying please. Rule 3, you can't jump here, so please, keep pressing right repeatedly instead of jumping. Oops, it's time to start, try to beat this record of 11 seconds. Actually, I think it might have been beat the record. Oh man, look at those two D characters in the background. You can actually sort of ch oh, maybe not. I was gonna say you can sort of cheat by inching yourself close to the starting lane, but no. 
You get three chances, otherwise you're disqualified from the event because, you know, cheating and all. Ah! I wasn't flying, I was running. There's a difference. Also, that Clancer in the background is staying on thin air. How is it, the hell is he doing that? Actually, two of them are. Ah, it's very strange. It was no, don't choke at the end. Go, oh, got it. Yahoo! Unfortunately, we didn't beat the record. But white team wins the prize. Whew. I like how there's so much going on in the background. Like you got some Clancers playing t the Taiko drum back there. You got some cheerleader Clancers, some waving red team flags, some waving white team flags. They really put a lot of effort into the background for this one simple level. All right, as if I didn't want to strain my body enough already, let's jump into the 200 meter dash. To that Clancer's rule book, 200 meter dash. Rule one, everyone must start at the same time. The first one to the goal line wins. Rule two, wait for the word go and start. No flying, please. Rule three, you can't jump here, so please press right repeatedly instead of jumping. Oops, it's time to start. Do your best. Those two guys are still floating in the air and still bugging me. I feel like I've seen that one with the hat before. And they're off! Oriad's really rocketing ahead, literally. Oh boy! Oh, we made it. 21 seconds. Oh. Still kicking Red Team's A. I just realized there's like a Clancer in like a JoJo looking like outfit in the background waving two fans. Alright. Because my body hates me enough already, we're jumping into the 400 meter dash. Tech Clancer's rulebook 400 meter dash. Rule 1, everyone must start at the same time and the first one to the goal line wins. Rule 2, wait for the word go and start, no flying please. Rule 3, you know the drill by now. Oops, it's time to start, do your best. Oh, my arm is not going to recover from this. Ugh. Alright, let's get this over with. I wouldn't put it past me if I lose this race. Just out of sheer exhaustion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh god, why would they put this in here? Ah, uh, 44 seconds and 44 and a half seconds. I think we might have gotten the gold gem. I think it might have been this. Nope. My body hurts. My arms and head are both red, and I'm feeling a little lightheaded from that one. Oh. Uh, it's, well, it's time to jump. Because you might as well jump. Attack Lancer's rulebook, long jump. Rule 1, jump as far as possible from the line. Rule 2, each player gets two jumps. The white team will go first, the red team second. Rule 3, if you jump after the line, it's foul and won't count. Oops, it's time to start. Do your best. It's time to show off your slider jump. Yeah, there, there's the hint as to what you need to do. You need to do your slider jump. Ah, 
as you know, I am the master when it comes to the slider jump. I think this might be our first one that we lose. Alright, beat that fool. Oh man, I want to go to the gift area. Aha, I win. Maybe. Unless they add up the points together. Nope, it was just whoever jumps the farthest. I still want to go to that gift shop area. I wonder what kind of gifts that they would give out for this event. Uh, they, pro they probably give out the flags, the, the fans, and all that stuff. Alright, it's time for ball! Attack Clancer's rulebook, collecting balls! I don't, I, why, why is... Was that a translation error? Is that why there's quotations outside of the S? Like, that's a really weird cutoff point that they put for this game. I think that might have been an error on their part. Rule 1! Each team must... Throw the balls into the clam pot. Get as many in the clam pot as you can. You have 60 seconds. Rule 2! Marina, you're on the white team and must carry the clam pot. Collect wisely. Oops, it's time to start. Do your best. Don't catch any bombs. Alright. Give me your balls. Bring out your balls. my watch. Nope. What's this fool doing? The war's over, buddy. Let's let us enjoy the winter games in peace. Okay, now this is getting a little out of control. Man, what is my team doing? Are they just asleep? Wait, was that Terran? Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh no, there was a ball! No, give it a ball! Oh, oh god, oh! Woo! I'm not letting them have it! No! Woo! Woo! Oh no. This is insane! Ow! Well, we still won by literally one point. I think we got these winter games in the bag. I don't know about you guys. Alright, it's time for Hurdle! Attack Lance's rule book, Hurdle Race. Rule 1! Everyone must start at the same time, and the first one to the goal line wins. Rule 2! Wait for the word go from to start. No flying, please. Wait, but yeah, we're supposed to go over the hurdle, so we kind of need to fly... Whatever. Rule three! Use your jumping skill wisely to fly over the hurdle. You just said no flying, you fool! Make up your mind! Oops, time to start. Do your best. Alright, I don't think the hurdles are that long. Look at him floating there. Look at this guy doing his sexy pose laying on his side watching us. Screw you, I'm flying. Oh, he's really on my ass. Oh! Close finish. He must have been their star athlete then. Alright. All that's left is to do basic math. Our team is screwed. Attack Lancer's Rulebook, Math Fun. Rule 1, you're going to solve math problems. 
Answer as many questions as you can. Wrong answers won't be accepted. Rule 2. Grab the ball with the correct number on it. It's like a calculator. Grab and release the balls as needed. If you make a mistake, grab the ball with the arrow to erase your answer. Oops, it's time to start. The techniques of jumping and grabbing are the key. Can you solve basic math? 7 plus 9. Got it. Thankfully, you don't have to put, hit in an answer one. You just need to... 6 plus 6 plus 1. That's 13. Ah, uh, no! Ah! I grabbed the... Too early. 4 plus 4 plus 2. That's 10. Not even giving him a chance. 7 divided by 1, that's 7. See, I can math. I'm not even giving him a chance, and he was right under the answer. 18 divided by 2, that was... 9. No, not 8! Ooh. Jump grabs are not the easiest thing here. I... 13. Oh, not 14! Oh, well. We still did... We were still good at math. I was just bad at grabbing. And with that, we pretty much aced the entire Winter Festival. Unfortunately, we did not get the green or the gold gem. I don't know why I keep confusing the two with the green and gold gem. Probably because we've been given a green gem for every single thing. But we finally got our first A rank in a mission with excellent. I believe only under three minutes is considered an excellent with how strict they were for the past levels for the A rank. All right, it's time for a catastrophe. Even though we won, you know, things can never just go easy for us. Thank you, thank you all! The game is over, and the winning team is... The White Team! I can't tell if they were red because they painted themselves red for their team, or because they were literally that angry at losing at the games. Okay, listen up! There's a wonderful prize for the White Team! And the prize is... Prof Theo! Prof, come on down! Oh my god, he turned himself into a cat! Prof Theo has been kidnapped by Lunar. What a bummer. I'm Cat Clancer, and I've come to destroy Marina, but I'm too weak. Okay, bit of an awkward fade there. Uh, I was looking over at the recording when I realized something was going awry, so... We're kind of doing this again. We already went through the dialogue, so I'm just going to pick it up right where we left it off. Alright, alright. Let's settle this with a game of dodgeball. I mean, only Marina and I can play. Everyone else, move! It seems like I just missed the prof, so if I win, you'll have to take me to him. Sure, since Theo is with Lunar. Since you two are playing this game of dodgeball, I'll be the judge. Dodgeball rules! Rule 1, throw the ball and hit the opponent. Rule 2, the left side is Marina's and the right side is Cat Clancer's. Each player must stay on their side. Again, Marina on the left, Cat Clancer on the right. Rule, uh, fight fair and you can avoid being hit by the ball. Oops, it's time to start. Good luck to you both. And it's on! We get we get a little clam ball thing, Bob, like a clam bob. Cat Clancer gets a little, that's a little adorable flower. It's adorable, she's trying her best. Too bad it wasn't enough. Okay, now you're asking for it. Eat this! Fine, get rid of him. Hmm, figured that would have done some damage to him. You're not really that good of a fight. Ow. As soon as I say it. As soon as I say it. 
Oh, oh, you're not playing fair? All right, fine. You know what? I'm gonna shake the ever-loving hell out of you. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. There. That's what you get for cheating. Now, what do you gotta say for yourself? Ah! You only won because you cheated, but I'll take you anyway. Unfortunately, my ego got me out of that gold gem, because I think to get it, we need to beat Cat Clancer without cheating. But whatever, you saw it. She cheated before me, so it's all fair game. Well, you can get the A rank by just going over there and constantly just slamming the, the poor thing into the ground to get... And you're pretty much it. Yeah, you get called a cheater, but hey, you get your A rank out of everything. Alright. We fought Lunar once on his own turf, and, well, we came out on top. But now, how do we... Do you think we'll fare against Cerberus Alpha? Nope. We'll just have to siege, won't we? It's a motorcycle! And yes, we are indeed riding Cat Clancer in this boss fight. What other boss fight can you say that you can fight against a... I guess you could say a cybernetic wolf commando riding on top of a motorcycle shooting robots while riding on the back of a cat? None, might I say. Also, the cat can ride the missile launcher. Or the missile itself. You remember what Miss Hint said? Give the missiles a good shake. Throw them right back at him. And try to avoid his super laser there. He will fire a couple shots from the eye of his, his little motorcycle. He also does a couple of charge shots at you. And of course you saw the, the big one. Catching the energy projectiles gives you the some health. Dodge down. Fly up. To get the gold gem, we already kind of screwed it up. We need to beat him just like with the Megans with taking no damage. And as you can see there, I once again screwed up. Oh boy. First runs of these boss fights, I'm never really going to try for the gold gem. We'll just save that for the post um, level area or the post area part. Also, as you can see, the further we move away, uh, the further... The, the smaller the the boss arena is. You can actually run away from the boss fight and that counts as you dying. So you kind of want to make sure you don't get too far away from him. Ooh. That should be good. Give me that missile. I'll take that. Nope. Oh, he's jumping. Now he wants us to eat lead. I don't think so, buddy. Thankfully, we're out of range of his assault rifle. However, that could still be a bit of a problem. His his cycle also protects him a little bit. It acts like, as like a, a little mobile shield. So you kind of want to aim it a little bit above where his motorcycle is to hit him himself because that's where the damage has to go. If you ever find yourself on the ground when the super laser is being shot at you, you don't have to worry. Just crouch down and it'll miss you every single time. I did it. All right. One or two more missiles should be enough for this uh, segment. There we go. And now it's morphed into, well, the Cerberus. And now Lunar's out. He's fine in the background. I think it jumps into the foreground to attack you every now and then. We just need to fight Lunar. He's going to do some kicks at you. You want to grab him when, it, when the reticle shows up. I think you can... I think you can deflect his kicks. What, what are you doing? Ow! Oh, he's faking me, faking me out. Right, come on. Lunar is considered to be the hardest boss to get the gold gem from because he's just got so many attacks and he's very sporadic and random. Aha! Come on! I know you want to! There we go. 
Oh, you're so generous with your health, Lunar. Thank you. Man, you had this many gold gems. I don't know why you were worrying about the snow. Oh, he can also do an uppercut as well, as you can see. It's kind of his way of attacking if you're way too close to him, because he, he'll be kind of out of uh, too close to do his dive kick. Ah. Oh my god, he's relentless! I'm surprised I'm able to keep my balance on the cat this long. There we go. And now we got his assault rifle! Shake it a bit, and we get the spread shot from Contra, I think. Or is it just stronger shot? I think it's just stronger shots. I thought it was a sp spread shot. No, actually, it's a charge shot. Just need to keep up the pressure on him. I don't think uh, getting hit by Cerberus itself will uh, do any damage to us. Got him. Ooh. Got him. And that's it for Lunar. Oh, well, you were being a little overly flashy. That's how you could lose to me. Maybe if you wore a helmet while wearing that riding that motorcycle, you would have won. He never learns, does he? The Empire's plan has been destroyed by Marina's heroics. Prof Theo was also rescued. But the peace is brief. A new battle is stirring, of which Maria is unaware. There's a new enemy. The Beast Sector. Stay tuned, same N64 times, same N64 channel. By the way, here's a useful tip. It's a really good one, too. Against the boss, if you never take a hit, you'll be rewarded with a gold item. Grabbing is where you begin shaking for treasure from within. Throwing far is how to win. Ultra Intergalactic Cyborg G Marina. Her knife kick will punish you. All right, well, we got to see Rain kick. Five minutes? Almost six minutes. Wow. I didn't think it took that long. Emperor, gem mining at the cave is going extremely well. If it continues like this, our Imperial fleet will soon be ready to depart. Oh, what the? Lunar! Who did this? Marina. It was Marina. Marina? You mean it was that Ultra Intergalactic Cyber G? That works for the evil Theo? What's going on here? Lunar has been destroyed! Um, as you can see, Marina is stronger than we had anticipated. So, Taurus, the assignment is now yours. Understood loud and clear. It's revenge time! Marina is underestimating the power of the Beast Sector. Um, that's not what I meant. Marina, I'll make you pay! No! Not Marina! Kidnap the prof, you fool! Charge! Yes, sir! Your lives are mine! Here we go, troops! Engage! I do gotta say, he's got a really good swagger walk. I can see why he has adoring fans. Told him to kidnap the prof! 
hee hee! Don't worry, Emperor. I'll kidnap the prop for you. Did the monolith just sweat? <laughs> I've never be kidnapped again. Look at these weapons. This time I'll fight back. Oh yeah, baby. Huh? A phone call. Professor! Oh, Marina, is that you? I thought you went into the other room, didn't you? No, Prof, I'm right here. Prof, let's play hide-and-seek, okay? I'll hide, and you try to catch me, if you can. Marina, what's happened to you? Why are you being so childish? Fine, I'll play your silly games. Ready or not, here I come. I'm gonna catch you. Here I come. He never learns, does he? <sighs> they had the wrong number. Huh? Hey, Prof! Help me catch you! Prof! You fool! They just hit the warheads! Alright, well with that, Mount Snow is completely finished! Next time on Mischief Makers, we're going to be going into Aster's Lair, but before we do that, let's take a little trip back to the past so that we can snag all those missing gold gems. Alright, I'll see you in all in just a little bit. Yeah! Charging headfirst into Clan War, the gold gem for this level isn't too far off. It's actually a little past the start. Head forward a little bit till you see a purple clancer with a Santa hat. This guy will have our gold gem, however, he will live a very short life since two bombs will drop where he stands. Grab him, get him out of range of the bombs, and then give him a good shake for your first gold gem. Up next is Marzen64, with what I have to admit is one of the more unique ways to get a gold gem. At the very end of the level with the red clan blocks and the white clan ball, you're going to want to shake the ball and grab the bomb before it hits the blocks. Carry it back up to the top of the hill and drop it on top of the red clan blocks up there. As soon as it blows, jump in, grab the clan pot, and jump out. Shaking the pot reveals it holds three jetpack clancers, all of which combine into one big jetpack clancer. Jump on him and ride him to the left until you find a cluster of red gems. The gold will be in the center. I had the right idea for Chili Dog's gold gem, I just didn't do it enough. To get his gem, all you need to do is give him a few dozen shakes. Honestly, it's random as to the number of shakes you need to give this poor pup before he'll give up his treat. The only good indicator I can see is the closer you are to the gem, the more the background shakes. Whoever designed the Winter Games Gold Gem is an absolute sadist. To get the Gold Gem here, you need to beat the 11 second record for the 100 meter dash, which is not easy at all. I honestly would suggest investing into a turbo controller for this one. But with time, determination, and a few blown blood vessels, you'll be able to get it without one. Catastrophe is really easy to get, and I could have gotten it during the main video, but I was just going along with a bit. All you need to do is not be a dirty, filthy cheater during the fight and not get hit. If you win fairly, you actually get some helpful dialogue for Cerberus Alpha. Speaking of Cerberus Alpha, as said before, to get the gold gem here, all you need to do is beat Lunar without taking any damage, and it is not as easy as it sounds. First two phases aren't that much of a problem, just dodge the shots, give the missiles you grab a good shake, and it should take at least six to seven missiles to get him to phase three. Phase three, however, is a much different story. Lunar has a lot of fast hitting and fake out moves, where if you fall for one of those, his uppercut attack will put an end to your run. My best strategy is either to play really defensive or play the fake out game with him, moving close then jumping away and attempt to have him do his kick attack. If you're lucky, you will hopefully make it through this phase pretty fast. 
Phase 4, thankfully, is much easier. All you need to do is hit Luna with 2 to 3 charge shots from his blaster, and he will go down, net you the gold gem. And that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Next time on Mischief Makers, we are going to delve into one of my lesser favorites segments of the game, Aster's Lair. It has some good boss fights, but man, the level designs for most of these is not good at all. As much as I love this game, this really is a black spot for it. But until that day comes, I will see you all next time. Later. <laughs>